Hi, this is Ian. Uh, I just wanted to show some of my latest research. I'm working on uh, scanning Super 8 film, but uh, in a kind of weird, strange way, because I want to make something that's completely, well, something that, that uh, pushes outside of the boundaries of, of uh, video and film together. Okay, so anyway. So this is the this is the machine here that I made. Basically the Super 8 comes out <clears throat> from this reel, goes through these guides. This little cardboard guide down. Okay, and then we'll put it through, try to lock it into the other reel. Okay, there. Uh, okay, now, so I've got this uh, motor, little DC motor that's um, rescued from a, an old flatbed scanner. I've got a little CCD uh, camera in there with a little tiny lens on it and power supply to run it. Um, basically, just computer power supply. Uh, which plugs in here, and I'll just plug it in. Okay, so we've got the machine going. I'm just gonna pause it for a second. Uh, now we're gonna go over to the um, to the software. Basically, the the um, video comes out here, goes into my capture card. Okay, which goes into PD, and uh, I use the uh, RTX um, demonstration patch in the gem in the gem package, and uh, I just put a couple of extra little things in there, basically just to to kind of distort the image by uh, mixing uh, the RTX with the uh, a live view. So I'll just go back to here. Put this together and see my kit. Okay, so now it's, it's going. So here's the here's the image, and I can kind of play around with some stuff here, like kind of varying the, the flashiness of it and the how much of the how much the uh, filters come on. I noticed one quirk with the recording is it's gonna record the, the pointer too, but that's okay. Not fussy. Um, what I'd like to do is kind of um, to kind of keep playing around with this idea is to put a shutter on here because obviously this is just pulling the, the film over. It's not really um, it's not really scanning at it in any kind of way. Okay, I'm just slowing the film down here so you can see the actual film going by. Okay, those are red dots from that that I drew on there. Um, but it, what it needs is a shutter so that the the um, the light that's coming from the top uh, turns turns off and on to actually discriminate between frames. Uh, I'm not really looking for a, a perfect film scanner because <laughs> I don't think I could with this setup. I don't think it's possible. But I'm looking for for different ways to to actually re textualize or re re uh, format sort of the the video uh, and I'm using PD to do it so a couple of ideas one is to have an LED on the top that's run with by an Arduino have it flash on and off and see what I get out of that and the other idea is to keep it all physical and use like a servo like this to um, to block the light and uh, 
and allow the light to come in. And I think that that might be the best um, system because it's it would be it would be nice to, to keep the uh, um, the mechanical feel of the whole thing. So anyway, that's it. Thanks.